everybody and welcome to my classical puppets bell shape vs a-line petticoat comparison video. In this video we'll be making an in-depth comparison between the two petticoats. Also just a quick disclaimer, um, Psycho Top Hat Cat did make a good point on my classical puppets mail day video that uh, classical puppets have changed their petticoat releases throughout the years uh, which have may have affected quality. Um, since both of mine were bought secondhand, um, it's because of this that I have no idea of either of my petticoat release years. Uh, so while this video may not be able to comment on the current ones in stock, uh, this should give you an idea of what to expect because there are quite a few differences you can't pick up between the two petticoats unless you have both. Classical puppets, uh, petticoats, have an elastic waistband and a lining fabric underneath to avoid the petticoat getting itchy against your legs. Uh, both are marked by the classical puppets tag, so don't be fooled when someone tries to sell you one second hand that clearly doesn't have this. Um, you can get them from Taobao resellers or direct from Taobao. Um, they also come in other colours besides black and white. Uh, the white petticoat here is the A-line and the black petticoat is the bell shape. So the first difference is that the A-line is a single layer uh, while the bell shape is two fabric layers stacked on top of each other um, before the lining layer. The A-line petticoat has the fabric divided into three segments, uh, while the bell shape has it divided into two. Another difference uh, is a slight difference in material. Um, the A-line has a little bit more stiffness to the fabric than the bell shape. To demonstrate this, uh, see how the fabric on the white A-line stays stiff while I'm holding a segment, uh, while the fabric on the black petticoat just folds over. Furthermore, there's a tighter edge seam stitch on the A-line uh, than the bell shape petticoat seam stitch. This may be done purposely because the A-line would require stiffer fabric to maintain the A-shaped dress, uh, while you would probably need a more flexible fabric in order to have the more rounded shape of a bell shape, or it could just be quality. I'm not really sure on this one. A-line and bell shaped petticoats give a distinctly different look to your Lolita dresses. Um, the A-line looking like an A-shape and the bell or cupcake looking more rounded. Here is a comparison between them being worn under dress so you can also notice the difference uh, to the needs of the dress you have and what sort of look to expect. Always wear the petticoat to the shape of your dress whether it be A-line or bell shape because it will look obviously wrong if you wear the wrong petticoat but we're just going to break the rules here for the sake of comparison. Also, here is me sitting with them because, yes, you want those petticoats to look oh so awesome for photos while you drink tea. And just an extra thing, I must be surely not the only person who wants to know but what happens when you stack a bell-shaped petticoat on top of an A-line petticoat where well, you get something like this. <laughs> you get a overstuffed dress. Well, that concludes my comparison video today. Um, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment so I know you want more videos. Thanks for watching and ta-ta for now!